there have been various interpretations of tithing and how to express generosity to support the purposes or mission of the church at various times in the church's history. Now, we tend to remember the one that we were initially taught and what we have practiced. But historically, there have been various interpretations in response to the growth of the church, the changing nature of the church, different needs and opportunities before the church. So in the earliest church, the interpretation was bring everything and give it to the bishop and there'll be returned to you what you need to live on. And everything else is to help those who don't have enough. And then that was modified as circumstances in the, in the church changed. There was a period of time uh, where definitions regarding tithing included the efforts of the reorganized church to uh, distinguish itself from other expressions of the Restoration, especially the LDS Church. Um, and so the idea of some kind of definition that was other than that definition was very important. <laughs> that was a, a phase in the church's growth and development when establishing identity was very important. More recently, in response to counsel that has come to the church, which encouraged the presiding bishopric to continue to develop understandings regarding tithing as a disciple's generous response, which is more inclusive, which was, was broader. And that's in Doctrine and Covenants uh, section 154, paragraph 5, where the presiding bishopric is encouraged to do, thing, do that and to look at the whole definition of terms more holistically and more inclusively. And so in 2002, the presiding bishopric presented a definition of tithing that wasn't just giving from increase, a tenth of increase to the world church, but that embraced all the giving, including our offerings to, to local uh, ministries and our congregations and districts, uh, regions or now mission centers, and all of that was included with the understanding that all of that giving would be, um, in, would ex be an expression of a commitment to the biblical principle of tithing one-tenth, one-tenth, the one-tenth of income. So, so that was introduced in 2002. The most recent statement was a clarification, a re-emphasis of those principles that had been previously presented to the church and that were then uh, brought to the church through inspired counsel that is now Doctrine and Covenants 162 which also expressed a more inclusive understanding of giving as tithing that's equally shared between worldwide ministries and local ministries, and that both are very important. What was part of the new statement and is part of the statement that now defines tithing is that the concept of community ties or giving to other charitable organizations, highly encouraged, but those are not within the definition of tithing to support both local and worldwide ministries of the church. So yes, that, that is a, a different interpretation than was brought in 2002, but the core principles are the same. 
Doctrine and Covenants 162, paragraph 7, presents that as the right interpretation for the church at this time in its history. The World Conference adopted that as an expression of the mind and will of God for the church today, so the church consented to it, and that's what we're continuing to, to implement.